Well, you've all spoken. And apparently, you wanted me to speak to Automotive Flux. So I did. And today, we're taking on that one challenge that that one time that one guy called Jimmy did. And we're going to try to make ourselves some lovely 90s trucks. That I, by that, I mean American trucks, not what the rest of the world calls a truck. Just ignore whatever the hell that is. What? Anyway, I think I can do this. They're fairly squared off. Uh, usually got a division in height for headlights, a uh, big square grill, and a really cool looking kind of bar thing. I don't know what that's called. So bar thing it is. First, let's go ahead and set the year. Then the body type to give us only oots. <laughs> what the hell is that? Not sure if I'm going to use this body, but I just needed to look at it. What is this? What the hell? Anyway, let's give ourselves, I, I don't think a long body is going to help us, but I really want to go a long body. That looks incorrect. <laughs> it's way too low. Anywho, we're just going to go with the generic sort of thing. So it's going to be steel. It's going to be ladder. It's going to be more steel than a front longitudinal. Or front suspension will probably be something more like a double wishbone and then a solid axle coil or leaf. I'm tempted to go leaf, but I think I'm going to go coil because it's late in 90s at least. And being an American truck, they never actually carry a ton. They're always like a quarter ton truck. And I'm like, why do you want such a piddly little vehicle that's freaking ginormous? Then also I want massive amounts of suspension articulation. And I just don't feel that you really would get that much out of a leaf spring. But I'm not going to go with double wishbone on the rear because that would be silly. Now, what do I do? Do I go a big American V8 sort of thing saying that this is some kind of muscle truck? Try to go like the SRT 10 and make it a V10 truck? Or do I go diesel? No, seriously, I'm asking you. I, I don't know what I want. There's so much I want to do. Anyway, we're probably going to just go with this. We're going to go with aluminium, probably? No, cast iron block. We'll have a push rod to keep that RPM low. Then an aluminium head at the least. Then lots of extra stroke. Lots of extra stroke, apparently. Harmonic damper, obviously. Then I don't know what we're going to do here yet, but do I drop ourselves a lot of board to give us an incredibly long stroke compared to making it just that little bit more dieselish. I think we might. As for the cam profile, drop that right off. Probably gonna be turbo. Do I go two turbos on the one side? I think I do. I mean, it doesn't make sense. It is a diesel truck. They're probably not going to bother with that, but I really want to do it. So yeah, we're going to go with that one. Then injection. Unfortunately, we don't have direct injection. We really should though, because I believe direct injection was invented in the late 90s and was brought in by Mitsubishi. We go 2001 and apparently we can. Single and then compact. Is that going to be best for low end performance? Maybe standard low? I think standard low might be better. Now, because I want to have it chuffing smoke, I think we're going to increase the fuel richness quite a lot. Cast log seems to fit this one just perfectly. And I love the twin turbo. Yeah, I think it's worth it to go the twin turbo. No catalytic converter because we want lots of extra smoke and I think we're good. Now we got to do some... Ch a Conrod has failed. Oh, weird. Hold on. That doesn't make sense. It just... It's, oh, it's creating too much torque. So the crank needs a little bit of help. That needs a little bit of help. And that needs a little bit of help. And our top RPM is about 50-ish hundred RPM to 5,500 RPM. I think we're pretty good there. A turbo is kicking in a lot later than what I would like though. I would like a really low RPM turbo. How much extra power can we get out of like fiddling with our camshaft? Yeah, a little bit more. More torque, more torque again. Yes, all the extra talk. There we go. Now all we do is just have a, a little bit of a lift issue, but that's fine. We can drop off the RPM. Making this smaller will help it boost a little bit quicker. Our power's about the same. I wonder if dropping the turbo size. You know what? Yeah, it's bringing the power down, not really hurting us much in the way of power. I think that's pretty good. I like these numbers. We're less than 200 kilowatts, which isn't a lot, but we got a lot of torque there. And I think that's pretty good. If we go any higher than 11.6 to 1, we seem to uh, become a little too rich. Yeah, lots of fuel being dumped into the cylinders right about now. We might also give ourselves some more Ron to work with. So then that way, 
We can just increase that boost pressure. Oh, that's in reducing our RPM, apparently. I think, yeah, we're going to have to go with that. It's not really liking us very much. What does it sound like? Does it sound like a diesel? Not really. In fact, it's actually very quiet. Don't even have mufflers on this. What the hell? Why did I not put mufflers on? Let's just put on two reverse flows. The one thing I do like, though, is if we have a look at the engine dead on, just look at the tilt. <laughs> That's a lot of talk. Do we go ahead and paint anything or do we leave it as is? I think I'm pretty good to leave it as is, actually. Do I go with this, like, weird jewel cab sort of looking thing, which here in Australia, they don't sell particularly well. And when on the used market, they plummet in value compared to just a regular old ute back. So I think I'm going to go with my gut and just say that this one's probably better. Can we at least shorten the back up? It seems a little bit too long. Nope. Okay, apparently I can't. Ooh, apparently I can make it wide, thick, chunky body. But well, we're going off-road, not anything particularly berserk. Oh my god. I can have super duper cab with like the biggest door in the world. Why? Anywho, let's bring that to like a regular size. Somewhere around there will probably do. As for the drivetrain, obviously four wheel drive. We are going off road. And then a nice sloppy automatic. Advanced automatic, maybe? So then that way I could choose the gears? Five speed, probably. Apparently our top speed is really, really low. It's maxed out and I'm still not even reaching 300. I mean, if I was able to, I don't think I'd be reaching that speed, especially at such a big chungus body. Manual lockers are probably the way to go as well. Which one's better off-road, chunky off-road? Yeah, it looks like chunky off-road by the name of it is a much better choice. It's just not very big. I get the feeling they'll get stuck in ruts really easily. So we're gonna increase the size of them a lot as well. Not much to do for the wheels because I do like a big chunky tire. Maybe like a 17 or an 18 and then just leave that as is. Cause 18s are not small. They just look really small right now. Then an alloy wheel, off-road skid tray. I don't know if that's gonna help us very much, but I don't know. It just feels proper to put it on there even still. Little bit of brake airflow cooling you know what i feel like we're gonna need to upgrade the cooling for this car considering that it's gonna be a lot of high stress but at very low speeds trying to go over things two seater seems about right you know what i want to create a bench seat yeah let's do my first ever like front bench seat car like a standard interior because this is not like anything fancy dancy gonna have a standard cd player not top of the line trim this is like medium trim work vehicle sort of thing hydraulic power steering because god damn you need that some abs this is like early sort of times we're not really going to be using traction control for this we're going to go with some sort of standard 90s safety these are, don't need to be particularly safe i mean you're in a big lifted vehicle sort of thing safety is not your top concern. Then a standard spring, gas monotube, and a passive sway bar. What is an off-road sway bar? If I select it, does it change anything? No. We do have a question mark here. What does that tell us? I'm seeing here that apparently passive are disadvantageous for off-road vehicles. Maybe we'll go off-road. I don't know if that's actually going to help us in BMG. Maybe that's something I'll test out one day. But for now, we're just going to go with that. And then we're going to go with off-road. That's pretty decent. I feel though I might take advantage of making a little bit higher with the new settings. In here. And suspension. And I think we're just going to raise it up just to... A smidge. <laughs> this is, I mean, uh, in automation terms, that's not particularly large. But compared to real life, that's pretty chonkers. I, I think I'm in love. Car has severe issues with wheel spin, significantly reducing drivability. Oh no. What, what have we got for wheel spin? 29% with four wheel drive. Oh my God. First gear is really only getting up to about like 75 kilometers an hour. So actually maybe we're good. Maybe you drop that down for a little bit of uh, like low end towing. If you need to tow super duper heavy, super duper heavy loads. We may want wider tires. Hmm, we actually don't have much of a choice here. Oops, 255s, I feel like we could go more than that. And to do that, I think we have to widen out the body a bit. There we go, now we can go wider to 75s. Hmm, it still seems pretty narrow, but I have an idea. Tire wall curve, there we go. Now they don't look narrow and they're not ridiculously overly sized wide. Let's do exactly the same to the rear. I think we should actually be using cross plies off-road, right? Hold on. I may have read something about that. So I think cross plies? 
Chunky off-road what? Our off-road score did go down though, but only by 0.5. I really don't know which one is better. I think, yeah, I'm gonna go cross flies because I just feel that that's probably the better choice for going seriously off-road. I just don't like the tire tread. All-terrain seems a lot better for off-road because if you have a look at this, there's like a big slit down the middle where you're just not getting any traction off-road. Does it hurt our score much to go with this? Oh, it does. I really want it, but I just can't have it. Okay, let's start moving on to design. And I think because this is American, it should go like a black or a dark gray, right? Because gray is the majority of colors. Having a look here, there's a lot of actually like light blue ones. I do like red though. So just straight red. Hmm. You know what? Actually, no, that doesn't really look good in this unless it's like really low. So maybe like black or pretty close to black. It does look good with the metallic flake as a darker color. Oh, that looks very good. I wonder if it shows up like that. First things first, big ass grill. Yeah, that works for the most part. I wish it didn't have this thing up top, but there's not much I can do about that, unfortunately. Then we're gonna go with separated headlights. That looks fairly decent. And then we'll stick an indicator a little bit lower. Am I right about there? And I think we're gonna get rid of chrome because I don't think chrome was big in the 90s. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of like black plastic and it's also very shiny plastic. There's a little bit here, but that's also a show cast. That doesn't really count. This is painted body color as well. So maybe there's something to that. What does this look like in body color? Hmm. No, I think it would look better in plastic as opposed to shiny paint. Yeah, I think that's a much better choice. And then we'll do the same to the lights. Now I'm a little concerned that this uh, paint color. It's a little too dark to see the details we're putting on. So maybe a flake back to medium again? <laughs> that actually doesn't help as much. So flake back up. I think we can get away with these little lights here and maybe a lip. But we do have a large lip already. Oh, I just realized I don't have the hella lights anymore. Damn it. I wonder if they've been ported yet. Oh, I don't see them anymore. That would have been so awesome if I had had them right now. I don't really have another option, do I? Bugger. Well, let's go ahead and put on some little extra trim detail. Then we can stick in the thing for the number plate. Yep, looks possible to me, I think. Yeah, I, th I think possible is about as good as we can ask for right now. And I think we're also gonna go with these like kind of tacky, big, chunky 90s wheels. Classic? Oh, I don't know about calling it a classic. That looks hideous. That looks about right. That looks even better. But still, once again, 18s look really small on this set of tires. Little bit of hood ornamentation looks fine by me. Now to choose the right mirror. We want something big and meaty. Ooh, yeah, I think this works pretty well. I don't know if this is like based off of a real mirror, but it really looks like it is. And I think we're gonna make it extra big so then we can like tow if we need to, cause yeah, let's go ahead stick a tow bar on this thing. And now to do tail lights. This has always been tricky. Can we try something like this maybe? Yeah, I think that is what I would call passable without doing a lot of effort. Hmm, they do wrap around a bit. So I think, yeah, unfortunately, it's not really up to my quality of work. Oh, okay. That's worked out pretty nice. <laughs> I didn't even have to try. I am realizing though that I don't actually need an indicator. An indicator is kind of just getting in the way. You just have a secondary red light. There, that, that looks a lot more American. I thought something was looking a bit off and then I just realized what it was. It's because it's American. You, you just don't do that. And then the back ends are very sparse apart from like a crash bar on this. I don't really have anything that looks like that. But then again, this is like a later modified vehicle. This is not from factory like this. <laughs> we could still stick on a winch type thing. So just trying to pretend that we have a winch, I think is not unreasonable. And then can we stick some kind of hook on it? I don't think I actually have a hook as a fixture yet. Oh, I do have a ram bar. I think that almost works. Something's just not right. If I just scale it up more and then make it chrome to make it look as if like it's made of metal. What about steel? Oh, that doesn't look good at all. Yeah, back to plastic. There's not really a whole lot of detail in this thing, honestly. Oh, you know what? I saw them. Here we go. Yep, the little bash plate thingy jiggies. I don't know. I actually know what these are called. They don't really have a lot of use here in Australia since there's not like a lot of bumpy off-road. Australia is pretty flat. And now I think we're going to put on the name of the car, which is, I believe, going to be Tanner. That is my American brand. And I think it fits quite well for this. Oh God, being able to write text out as opposed to having to like place it and make sure you've got all the widths and everything correct. So much better. God, I love that. 
so much. I remember somebody was suggesting that this should be a thing. I was like, eh, I don't know. It's down on the list of priorities of things that I care about. But honestly, now that I'm using it, oh God, they were right. This is so much better. Now door handle for the back here. On my ute and all Australian sort of utes, you usually reach into the back of the tray of the ute and then there's the lever inside there. So we don't really often see them on the outside like this. So I don't know which one works well. Maybe this or this? You know what? Yeah, actually that looks like it might work. Oh. That's right, I was gonna put in the hoop bar. And also one other thing. If that doesn't scream white trash then, What's the point of anything? I get the feeling though this is gonna unfortunately get in the way of putting the bars in that I wanted to put in. Then I just, I want big lights, but I just don't have any. I could try doing the old school thing of taking the bullet style headlight, wherever that is. If that's possible. I don't actually see anything else to do, honestly. Oh, mud flaps. They'll go good. Hopefully they don't affect the collision mesh though. We could go with a big aerial. You know, off-roady sort of people do like big CB radio out the back. Why? Just because. <laughs> you know what? I haven't done an interior. Obviously, duh. What was the point of making it a bench seat if it's not a bench seat? Yeah, I think that works. I'm gonna do a little bit of a trick though. And I've been doing it a lot recently and it's because this doesn't look like seatbelt material. So we're gonna select that and then select carbon fiber. It looks a lot more like it, but I'm gonna make a custom carbon fiber because that doesn't look good. And I think we're good. Let's find ourselves a dash. Do we go with a basic dash or do we make one ourselves? And with that, I think we're done. This is gonna be completely pointless, but I wanna see what the speed is on this. Nearly three minutes, that's about to be expected. And here's the 1999 Tanner Buffido. Now, I couldn't really think of a name that wasn't already taken or already used, so I put buff and burrito together. I don't know why, it just seemed like the right thing to do. First of all, let's check out the collision mesh. Good, the mud flaps have not affected the collision mesh. Our low point on the differentials is way too low, but ah well, what can you do? But now, let's go do some off-roading. Ooh, I had some pretty good off-roading. Ooh, very bouncy, very, very bouncy. Oh, I was not expecting to be quite so bouncy. What do we do for rally? What was it again? I think it's softer springs. So I might have to go back and give us some softer springs. And let's go a little bit of like hardcore off road here. I think we might have to make the wheels a little bit wider so then uh, the track width a bit wider. So then that uh, is a little bit better with going through narrow gaps. It collides with the tires a little bit more. But aside from that, ooh, you know what? Actually, we've done pretty well. This is actually a very tough bit of road. And you may be looking at this going, oh, you're, but you're stuck, Phil. That's because I haven't even turned on diff locks yet. And I don't have on low range either. But just look at that. It just, it just went over. That is not a simple task. And this is my first iteration too. Good golly, that's impressive. Ooh. Okay, I don't like my chances, but Let's try going uphill. I doubt I'm gonna be able to because this takes, uh, takes like the most hardcore of hardcore, uh, like not even off-road, this is straight up rock crawling. You're not gonna get a normal car up here. Even if I try to floor it right now, yeah, nah, we're high centering and all that kind of jazz. Yeah, I, did something break? Why are we not getting traction anymore? That was weird. Are we, yeah, I think we're high centered, <laughs> oh dear. We are very much high centered. We're not gonna use our make-believe tow hitch. Oh God, our temperature got really high just then. Luckily that didn't get out of control. Also, I'm not blowing as much smoke as I would like. Okay, I think our engine has cooled down enough now. Let's go again. We're gonna go medium throttle, no, higher throttle. Oh, okay. And then we just kind of slip off of something. If only I could see exactly what's happening. Oh, you know what I can, control T. Yep, that different suspension setup is causing us an issue right now. Yeah, it's just straight up colliding. So I think we have to go like hard left before we can go any further. And it doesn't look like it's gonna let us. Oh, okay. That's not what I was expecting. Can we just, I, w I just wanna go left. There we go, good. And then get us up and then hug that rock around to the right. Oh, wow, okay. I wasn't expecting that odd bounce. And oh my God, we made it up here. That is no easy feat. We just seem to be unfortunately a little bit precariously perched. There we go. We righted ourselves. That was awesome. This car is going to, uh, car, this uh, ute is totally gonna make it 
all the way up that, uh, whatever that mountain range thing is called. I think I might go back in, make the springs a bit stuff, uh, stuffer? Stiffer. Then I'm going to go say hello to a little bit of flux. Oh god! This is my first time in being multiplayer, so... Oh, okay. Oh, Lord, the pink. Well, at least we're not competing today. We're working together to make it up True. Leap True. of Death. I've never tried this map before. I didn't watch that uh, Jimmy video either, so I'm <laughs> unex I, I don't know what to expect, which is a good thing. Okay, fair enough. So it'll be me that knows it really only through his eyes and somebody else's video, and you completely new to this map. I know that it gets really steep in areas, and I know it gets really narrow in some areas. So if we fail to make it up there, we can always just <laughs> ditch it and go to Jungle Rock Island or something. You seem to have a fair chunk of power there, buddy. So it's a it's a twin turbo in line six, uh, three three hundred thirty-five exactly horsepower. Ooh. Also, I find it funny that you went with a British style of vehicle, and I went with an American style of vehicle. <laughs> Yeah, I saw you said American, and then I was like, you know, I'm going to stretch that a little bit, and I'm just going to make a, a green Land Rover uh, and see, see how it does. So, You also didn't do an interior. What is this? <laughs> no. Well, I got a bit lazy, and I didn't do an interior. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. I figured the uh, the most smoke on the windows was going to help, but it wasn't, wasn't <laughs> enough. I've, I've gone kind of like full redneck for this, because I do know that this track gets pretty, pretty rough. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, no, suppose. I'm excited. I see that it's uh, extremely steep, and that's sort of what I was practicing with, so... Fair enough, fair enough, yeah, but yeah. I uh, I, I didn't do much rest, practice I, myself. I, I, I took it to the off-road section of Hirochi, and that was it. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it gets uh, a bit steep and narrow here. I, I thought about <laughs> widening out the track to make it like a lot beefier and then I remembered that yeah this track gets pretty narrow. No, I was actually gonna go for like a monster truck style or maybe <laughs> just make like a second one real quick that was a monster truck, but I didn't end up doing it. Pretty easy so far, I don't know what people complain about with this map. Who oh, oh no! Oh, that looks dangerous over there. I uh, <laughs> wouldn't exactly want to be going over there to explore. I think I got a bad bounce and it just kind of veered me off to the side. I also keep pressing the button to look back at you so I can see you talking. <laughs> yeah, I guess I have a bit of an advantage that way because you're always in my uh, view here. I mean, we'll switch after we get past the first big obstacle. Oh no, watch out for that! Oh god! Oh, no, oh, okay. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> That first big obstacle. Come on now. Uh, this is pretty weak stuff. I'll let you take the lead this time now, because uh, I failed. Okay. Um, All are right. we allowing resets? Or are we gonna? Ooh, we gonna... Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm mildly dented now, but it, it's all. Well, I it's reset because, like, I lost a wheel. <clears throat> okay, fine. Yeah, that makes sense. We're, I, we're I not gonna we... go very far if we keep having to retry. Ooh. This is very precarious. It is very narrow, so... It's also very bouncy and it wants to chuck me off. No missteps here, otherwise it's death. But you're always... Well, with this build, <gasps> you're aiming specifically for torque, so... Woo! No! <laughs> I almost got caught out by that corner. Alright. Oh, oh god! That's a wall. Okay, I just broke. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I should probably watch when I'm driving. Uh, that was a reset. Uh, if yeah. You, if you are keeping count, yeah. That was pretty funny. What were you doing? Were you watching I me? I was looking at you, and then I was just driving slowly. <laughs> oh, I heard a lockup just then. Were you going a bit fast? So the uh, biggest issue with this is it weighs way too much, and uh, the oh, brakes are not even close to good enough. So um, <laughs> th there's no. It's not a race car. It, it's not meant to go fast. I had to the get six piston brakes on the front of mine. Yeah, Ooh. same. Uh, okay. Race pads, you know how it is. This is very, very <laughs> narrow. <laughs> this is very narrow. Oh, goodness. Oh, dear. I mean, I can still do it. I haven't even turned my lock lockers on yet. I'm, your, your back seat is right in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, wait, you don't have a back seat. That's your front seat. Yeah, no, I have a. I put a bench seat with a column shifter. Yeah, you don't have a bench seat anymore. It's in my hood. <laughs> I can't, I can't make it. All right, I'm gonna have to put on my diff locks now. I'm going low range diff locks. Uh, you put manual oh, locker, I'm assuming. Oh yeah, totes. Yeah, four wheel drive manual locker. I, I thought that that would be necessary gear for this kind of uh, 
terrain. I thought about doing an LSD, but then I was like, you know what? No, no, this is like a, an American vehicle. Lockers are not that uncommon there. Well, I took the lead on that one. I think it's your turn to take the lead. Sure. Uh, this doesn't look sketchy at all. Let's, uh, <laughs> I, your bench seat is still stuck under my car. Well, my car is fine, so I'm just going to reset to take that out. I don't have an interior, so it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm claiming yours, basically. <laughs> You're building your car in post. Oh, this is bad. Oh no. I hear the engine revving, but I don't see the wheels moving. <laughs> Hold on. I'm coming back. Not too, too much. I'll move back a little bit. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, we made it through <laughs> that fire. one. That could have yeah, been... that wasn't too, too bad. I was worried. But I got a little uh, sketch. I, I saw where you had your problem, and I thought, you know what, I'll just gain a little bit more speed. And the bounce <laughs> nearly threw me off. So I, this uh, is just like the other area before, except it's even more sketchy. It's just a little bit windy. That's not much of a challenge. Windy. No, it's pretty easy. I think this is looking pretty challenging right up here. Oh, yeah, okay. You may want to get a bit of speed up for this one. I'm there doing are right. fates worse than death in BMNG uh, <laughs> when getting stuck. Or worse, get expelled. Expelled? That That's a Harry Potter reference. It was the uh, scene where like she was saying, we could have gotten killed, or worse, expelled. And then the ginger one goes, she needs to get her priorities straight. <laughs> like some of the worst acting ever. I'm looking up that hill over there, I'm getting worried, but... Uh, oh dear. So far everything's been fairly fairly the same. Just yeah. one or two hard spots. Nothing, just have to, uh, like, sometimes just... Oh, you got a bit of air there. Yeah, I think I broke oh, God. the suspension there, but we're, I'm, I'm carrying on anyways. It's, uh... Bouncing all over the place. <laughs> it's bouncier than ever. You need to go to a mechanic after this to get your shocks replaced. I'm gonna... Oh! <laughs> I was gonna... I was just about to say I'm about to stop, but, uh... <laughs> this is actually... Not that hard. I don't know what people <laughs> moan about when they're talking about this. Well, we did make uh, very specific vehicles just for this, so... Yeah. I mean, mine's not, like, special or anything. It's just a little bit lifted. It's got some good tires on it. It's got a smokestack exhaust. Ooh, this is very bumpy. Yeah, there's that one bump back there that is a bit of a pain. Kind of like, yeah. Oh. Close. Oh, that looks sketch. <laughs> that looks very sketch there. I'm going to let you get ahead a bit. So then that way I don't uh, have to stop. Just in case. And we're finally getting up the mountainside. That, was, that is a rough spot. <laughs> Two hits in a short period of time. You know what? My vehicle's actually dealing with this quite nicely. Oh! Yeah, I'm not having... Yeah, that's, that's the same spot. <laughs> Bashed my nose into the ground just then. <laughs> I didn't even see it until I was too late. Yeah, same. Is that why you stopped and looked <laughs> down so then you could see me bash my nose? Basically, yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this makes me want to recreate that, uh... The death road in that South American country. From... <laughs> oh, I think I've seen that on Top Gear. Yeah, I think Top Gear did it once. I think that'd be fun. Put traffic on there, get a bus coming the other direction. <laughs> a load of fun. <laughs> yeah, there's no room for the bus coming. Okay, finally, we've managed to reach an open area. <laughs> so we can switch now? Okay, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, may as well switch. Man, that, <laughs> that did actually get pretty sketched. That's probably some of the worst so far. I lost both my side mirrors, but <laughs> everything else appears to be intact. Yeah, the cars aren't too worse for wear. In real life, you might have a bent rim or an axle or something. <laughs> Luckily, this is yeah, just BMG. That, that nose dive would have uh, would have crushed and stuff for sure. Oh yeah, it would... <laughs> if it hadn't been like a particularly off-road vehicle, uh, it probably would have opened up an oil pan. I'm gonna get some speed for this. This looks pretty steep. Oh, you know what? No, it's not so speed bad. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yep. You need speed. There we go. All right, I did make it. He is kind of the enemy of this vehicle, but yeah, I managed to make it anyways, no problem. It, it got a little bit scary at the top. I was thinking there for a second I might have to switch down to low if I lose any speed on a janky bit of road. And they're they're doing their job if this was real life. You definitely need something yeah. like that for you. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I need to back up for <laughs> oh, a three point. Um, yeah, I, <laughs> I saw this, I was like, oh dear, I'm not going to make this. And then you came up barreling behind me <laughs> and made me uh, maybe squeeze out a bit of excrement there. Yeah, that is a tight turn, what the it's heck? Pretty tight and tight. 
Oh, you just you just ride your nose up the side of the cliff face. Okay. Yeah, at this point, I'm I'm not very concerned about that. It's. it's I, I suppose be... it is a 25 year old vehicle. Like you're not too concerned about your paint job. Yeah, this one is a 1999. I don't know what to. I think I accidentally set my year to the 2000, but I designed it as a 90s car. Not very efficient, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Another hairpin coming up, apparently. Yeah, I Turning saw off it. lockers should help a little bit with uh, getting a tighter turn. Yeah, turn radius would be better, but... Whoa. I'm okay. Whoa. Oh, 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 no. Oh. This one gives you a nasty bounce. It wants to bounce <laughs> you off the cliff. I'm going to stop right here, and I'm going to turn around and watch you uh, deal with that. Well, now that you've signed the, uh, the danger of it, I think I'm good. <laughs> oh. I was looking back. It's those unexpected like... bumps that really throw you for a loop on these sections. Eh, fine, I won't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna listen for the. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna listen to the for the uh, cries of fear. I see. I just see the cloud of dust coming up from behind your truck, and then I know that something's <laughs> going down. This is fun, right there. That's a fun section. I like that. Yeah. How much further are we going? I see that there's some other kind of oh. side. Objectives, possibly, but... Oh, I hope we don't have many of these path. lanes. Because I have a very particularly narrow and tall vehicle, which means if this lanes too much, it's just going to fall over. You know, I was thinking of jacking this up a lot higher, but I'm very glad that I did. <laughs> that would have been... Oh, a terrible I mistake. I thought about it, too. And then I decided, you know what, no, we're just going to go with a realistic sort of lift kit. Yeah, when you mentioned that uh, you were... Oh, well, I think you just mentioned in the message you were talking about the quality, or the sliders, the advanced settings. Oh. I was thinking that you were just going to make a full-on monster truck, so... <laughs> I, I, I considered it sure. for a second, but I thought, oh, you know what, I like realistic cars more. Same. Although unrealistic can be fun sometimes, just maybe not... Maybe not on a narrow road to death. <laughs> yeah, we wouldn't have made it up those narrow sections at all with a monster vehicle of any kind. Yeah, no, we'd be stuck. But that's also part of the fun. Have to drive over it or something. Road. I can't see the road! You've got too much dust in the way! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's not your fault. Just blame these max width- Wow! Max width wheels, I was gonna say, until I nearly died. <laughs> I did see you bounce quite hard, so I'm gonna go nice and slow through here. Well, that's a weird bit of mountain. That's very weird. And then very steep. Every time this thing gets unsettled on a narrow bit of cliff road, it scares me. Really something chronic. You know, I'm kind of impressed that we managed to make some fairly evenly matched vehicles. I was a little yeah. worried to be kind of lopsided, but uh, we're on the same page despite not too many restrictions. So that's a good thing. <laughs> Any restrictions? We said body type and year. <laughs> and even then, I kind of stretched uh, the, stretch the theme a little bit. It's kind of a fun looking section, actually. God of War, uh, God of War esque sort of area here. Oh, that's. You want to go fast here, but you really don't. Yeah, I was just thinking that it looked pretty pretty rough as what we got the heck? close, but. What? Oh. Um, the, the path splits. I get the feeling that the ring road we're looking at here just takes us on a flat way around, so I think we go straight ahead, because this one goes up. Yeah, it looks like that road is just a complete loop, so the more dangerous it looks, the better at this point. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, they probably want to catch out people that go like the wimpy road. Haha, <laughs> we'll just waste their time. Oh, nice drift. Sick drift, bruh. Here we go, this looks like a challenge. I think this is the fastest I've gone. First time hitting 100 kilometers right there. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I, I almost didn't have the vehicle lined up. Come on, did they put us in easy mode? What is this? I think it's time for you to take the lead because <laughs> like these challenges are nothing, but it is a challenge section. Oh, you're fanging it. <laughs> no, I'm slowing down now. I was, uh... <laughs> no, you were getting air at the end of that. Jeez. <laughs> What is this? That's a weird bit of road there. I mean, the obstacles are getting a little bit tougher, but it's not anything that's yeah really that challenging. I haven't gotten into low range in a while. I feel like when I have to put low back on, I know that it's actually going to be something. <laughs> Never mind, this looks pretty beefy. Yeah, I'm going to stop here and let oh, you get wow. a bit ahead. No, you, 
You champed that. You did well. I'm bouncing my way up. I thought it was worse than it was. I mean, it looks sketchy as all hell. And very yeah. polygonal as well, for some reason. Yeah, it's just not flat in the slightest. I like how the uh, the ground is so far away now, it's like got a haze around it. <laughs> yeah, it's despawning. Right. <laughs> oh really, it's despawning for you. Oh dear. Oh, turn right, turn right. Stay to, stay to the wall, stay to the wall. <laughs> okay, that got, that got scary. It wasn't going over the edge, but it was bouncing so much that it was making me very scared at any second that it would go over. Yeah, I don't know why this is such a challenge for people. I, they make it out to be this really hard thing. This is actually not that hard if you just get a narrowish kind of vehicle and have it set up right. We are quite close to the peak here. Yeah, I can see it. It's uh, fully spawned in now. Whoa! I'm gonna attempt a shortcut. Oh dear. Really? <laughs> oh, <it paid> off. <laughs> I see that <laughs> shortcut, and I think I'm good to not try that. <laughs> it works. I mean, I took a bit of a hit, but uh, <laughs> that didn't sound good. Don't worry, I righted myself. No! no! <laughs> Don't worry, I'm on oh, my you wheels. <laughs> yeah, you look fine. <laughs> I don't know whether you just saw what happened, did you? I saw a part of it. I'm not uh, totally went, around the corner yet. I went completely over. This corner here is a little bit tight. <laughs> the one the one that you luckily skipped. No, I wasn't thinking it would be tough. I was just like, hey, I saw an opportunity <laughs> to mildly skip the map. And so I, I took that opportunity and it worked out. Well, I didn't need to reset, so I'm good. This is nothing. This is so easy. We're like at the home stretch now. Yeah, no, I... Uh... I'm pleased to say that this thing is performing well. And yeah, no, that's pretty easy. That's that's the end right there. We see it. Yeah, nice. All right, I guess we uh, build some speed and go off it. You ready? It's yep. been nice doing this video with you, bro. Yeah, it's been fun. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Oh, you take off much faster. Oh, but then your gear shifts are really slow. Woo! <laughs> Yeah, my uh, transmission oh, is dear. very short. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so it's fine. And, and slow motion. Oh, oh! I splatted hard. Oh, you're slow motion. All right then. Yeah. <laughs> Mine is not recognizable <laughs> as a car anymore. Yeah, it's flat now. Oh, I got um, stuck. I'm gonna boop over to your car. We're going all the way down at this point. It's, it's yeah, it seems that way. you have beaten me on the, what would you call this, a luge? Oh. I'm for the water, come on. Yes. What a jump. Now, all what these a... ridges make sense now, because it's stuff to run into as you fly <laughs> into the water. Well, and you made it to the water, success. and I didn't. Well, that was interesting. I'm just going to zoom on up to, to uh, see what you're doing. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm really came oh no nope, I got flung off so a little bit separated all right well yeah, a little bit not, not much here's our watery graveyards oh no my engine is starved of oil <laughs> Well guys, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. This was something which I've been wanting to do for a while, you know, do something with Automotive Flux. He's a bit of a, um, an elusive, shiny Pokemon of the automation YouTuber thing. He's really hard to pin down to get to do something, so I really had to think outside of the box of something interesting that we could do. And I've also been wanting to do the Leap of Death for quite a while, and I think it all just kind of worked out quite nicely. So I hope you have enjoyed this. This has been something that uh, we have had in the works ever since I did that poll and it came out that you guys wanted to see Automotive Flux a lot. So I was like, okay, yeah, sure. I'll uh, try to put him down, see what he wanted to do. And yeah, it, it worked out quite nicely. And this vehicle, I mean, it's not really a special vehicle, but I will put it up on the BeamNG repository, so it should take maybe a business day or two to become available for you. But for now, I'll catch you guys next time. Goodbye.